All righty. All righty. Mm -hmm. That's the face. That's the face on the Amadakala. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll be for the Sunday bingo. Because memory doesn't stream on Saturdays. Even so, there's still there's still time for more bullshit. Oh yeah. For him to be stupid. Mm hmm Here's our song, guys. Think WCW. We we have we have Cam as are. We have G right. Dog, G Million, and everyone here. That's it. I think I'm yep, kidding. We came. Yep, we came yeah. as are, and I'm I, I look like this. Mm -hmm. I look like this. Let's put all lights on. That's what you look like. Yes, that's what I look like. I I came as I as I was. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the stream. All of you together here. We're gonna talk about this dipshit for the next. And just like always, when we do it H hours, the baby has to go with the bath water. So we're the bath water. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's all nice, hot, and full of bubbles. And, you know, for, for people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Folks. We oh, they know. We, we did it. did it together. He, you know what? Did he ain't lying. He, he, he's right. Uh, they, the kicking and screaming, they did it together. Boulder's Gate, totally a a, a team effort. Mm -hmm. Dude, because DSP, you couldn't play that game alone. You don't want to play it alone. Got money you buy alone, guys. I know there's only four of you. Guess how much money DSP made on Boulder's Gate three? Rough so, estimate, though. Rough estimate. This is not. This is based on. Raw tips. This is not exact numbers, but this is this is just raw. It's a, it's a rough guesstimate. Yes, it's a rough guesstimate, but I just want you to know this motherfucker made fourteen thousand dollars playing Baldur's Gate three. And all profit because he didn't buy the game. I want you to understand that over the last was it four months? Hey, Ariana. Yeah, about yep, then. The he last started, month. Um, yep. he, he might have started after the uh, Game Awards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in December. Yeah. Yep. And just uh, the last few days of March. You know, it's only Saturday, Sunday, and then that's it. So, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's just. A lot of money to be, uh, you know, play a game, Phil. And then he goes on this horse shit because it is. It's like, this game cost me so much. Fuck you. I want you to feel me when I say that. Fuck you. You wouldn't have made that money anyway because you're a bitch. And you don't know YouTube. You saying, like, this game ruined my business. No, your business sucks because no one wants to watch you. Deal with it. Feel it. Fuck you. This game is ruining my... But you're lucky that you made $14,000 on this game. All of it. Shove it up your ass. Today, Friday the 29th... Shove it up your ass. 24. 20, wow, I, that's how exhausted I am. I can't even say a date correctly. Wow. Let's try that again. Tonight, Friday... The 29th of March, 2024, will go down in history as the end of RPG Overload. Today, after pushing RPG for two straight Overload. weeks, mm -hmm. I completed both Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and Baldur's Gate 3. Uh -huh. The playthroughs will be live on the channel. I believe Like a Dragon already is in its entirety. The one remaining part, which is over 90 minutes long, of the epilogue of Baldur's Gate 3 will also be live shortly. And I am done with the games. Not to say that they were bad games, but my goodness, they were so effing long. 
and I'm very happy that they're Ooh, done. Oh, he censored okay? himself. So, enjoy those videos. I even did, after I finished uh, Baldur's Gate 3 tonight, I was so exhausted. I Originally, my plans was, I'm going to review it. I You're were exhausted playing a video game a game that mm -hmm. a thing that's supposed to be leisure time you were exhausted mm -hmm. playing a video game think yeah. about that think about that's that's so much hard work you know that's some bullshit that is true yeah it's not like he was playing a souls game that's yeah. some bullshit you know it's not like he was you know making burgers or anything like that Meth bear. Meth bear. bear. Dumb cuck. This guy is a dumbass. We got troubles. Nah, 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 nah. We ride the wind. Like we're in cheers there, and Meth bear was norm. <laughs> Meth bear. Yeah. Meth bear. I didn't review. We I was too tired. I'm enough with bear. this game. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So you, I had like a half an hour, 40 minute chill session with my audience instead, where I answered random questions. So all that will be live tonight on the channel. Officially, <clears throat> tomorrow, Officially. we start coming out of this tunnel and doing a variety of games again. No, no, we're no, we don't go out of this tunnel. We go into another tunnel of RPGs. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? We go into another tunnel called fucking <laughs> Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you go back to Dragon's Dogma and Final Fantasy. It's like guys. It, it, uh, it, oh no, no, no! Oh, um, G million. You didn't hear about Final Fantasy VI? It, it got sent to the farm for alone in the. Oh dark. yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it's gone upstate to so roam free. Mm -hmm. Because boobies can't have those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those evil fucking boobies. Yeah, he literally he said cloud, but like I have to do this, man. I have to pull a bullet in you. Remember, he said, I'm super excited for Final Fantasy VII. Game goes to the farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is what I'm best at, which is what I'm known for, and which is what I miss. He's known for it. So let's do it, all right? Oh, well, was everyone who was along this crazy ride, four months of Baldur's Gate 3, two months of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. They're now well, only, only the attractors were with you the whole time. And maybe that guy that was helping you beat the game. That's about it. And mm -hmm. The motherfucker that gave you a lot of money. That's about it. That's about it. Now completed, and it's time to move on very positively to the future. So what is that future? Well, tomorrow on the first stream will be a level one podcast, of course, discussing everything that I think about each of the games I beat today. And oh, then somebody the year of Alone in the Dark. Yeah, you may have actually it? heard it. It's installing right now and completing installation. Yes, it we're doing Alone in the Dark as the first stream. It was, and there's two uh, reasons it was why. Number one, it's a new game that I'm playing, and I will always like to play a new game on a mainstream if I can, to give it a little bit of extra time and get a little bit further. You're late by a week. You're late. This is the thing that makes me mad. He's like, oh, I like to play a mainstream game when I can. You're late. You're into it. There has been mainstream of what the game, game is. Number two, if I truly am coming out of RPG overload, I don't think the very first game I should play. I swear he thought I was. I thought he was gonna say RPG. I thought he was gonna say coming out of the closet. I mean, you did get you marry your gay lover in Boulder's Gate. Mm hmm. Good for you, Phil. Is an RPG. Just saying. I think we should do something different. So it makes sense to do Alone in the Dark as a day stream tomorrow. And then tomorrow night's late stream at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time will be Dragon's Dogma 2 continuing on. Sunday will then be my React Day where I do all reacting, you know, the clip show on DSP Reacts, and then the premiere of Retro React Bully Scholarship Edition on DSP Throwback. And Sounds Monday, awful. We'll play the same two games again, but the question is, do we flip the order? Do we do Dragon's Dogma on the day stream and Alone in the Dark on the night stream, or do we keep Alone in the Dark on the day stream? I think it's really going to depend... <clears throat> on the reception of the game and how people like it. Keep in mind, you know, do, do, could I say it? Because I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, DSP, uh, you know, you have your audience and that's about it. Mm -hmm. And they give you a lot of money and that's about it. It plays like yeah, an two old of them, school art, uh, and, um... survival horror game. 
a lot Zelda's of people didn't like that in the review. Oh, it's more archaic and, you know, it has puzzles. Like, yeah, it's like the old fucking games. That's how they all were. For those who actually like old school, like, horror games, they've said they really like this game. And a lot of people who've seen people play it said, wow, this is totally the kind of game that's up Phil's alley that would be entertaining to watch him play. No one says shit like this. Maybe the, the corner demon. Does the corner demon say shit like this? I know I don't. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what was it? He never, he never gave his name, so, you know. <laughs> FF7 got dragged into a van. I'll just say that. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never to be spoke again in gag. Poor a, a, a van with no windows. We'll yeah, just say that. It just says free candy on it. Mm-hmm. Play. Doesn't have to be game of the year, but it's an entertaining watch. And right now, what this channel needs is the return of variety entertainment, not the same old, same old games. So I'm happy variety that tomorrow there's something new. I hope you will join mm -hmm. me, even if you're just giving it a look and you're not sold on it. Please come by tomorrow. No. 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 I got, I got things to do. I'm going to wash no. my hair. And I'm bold. I hate you. <laughs> but that's not the point. And check out Alone in the Dark because it's variety for this channel. Sorry, when he says Alone in the Dark, that's the last person I want to be alone with is with you in the dark. In the dark. Mm hmm Now keep in mind, other variety coming up. I am going to try the Battlefront collection again, the Star Wars classic oh collection, that is. Um, probably, you know, a night coming up this week. Not sure when because I want to see if they fixed it. I believe they have. And I, paid the, I bought the game. I played it once. Was dying to play it. Didn't work, so hopefully it works this time. Didn't and that'll work. be some good variety for the streams for multiplayer. And I'm doing a co-op playthrough of Beyond Two Souls with my wife. Maybe starting this week, like Tuesday or Wednesday night, we're just not sure yet. I'll let you know when we have more info on that. So there is good variety coming. And another spin here is that no, Elden is. Ring is going to come back into the mix sooner rather than later. Probably within the first couple of weeks of April. More RPGs. So... Are we really done with RPG Overload, or are we just stuffing the box? He yeah. is replacing RPG Overload and calling it something different. Mission accomplished. There you go. Indeed. Co-op with Cat. Oh, yeah. He's going to be the ghost, and Cat's going to play the game, and it's going to be shit. Head for the hills, buckaroo buckaroos. It's going to be shit. Because we need to get that going again to prepare for the DLC in June. And my birthday bash marathon is on Saturday the 6th. So we got good stuff coming up. All right, guys? So I want to say thank you for your patience, especially if you're someone. Uh, I don't think I have anything to do on Saturday, so I'll probably be doing that with Mario Kart and other stuff. Uh, So... Yeah, I might I might do a double vision of that and just sacrifice my my time clock to this 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 birthday stream and see what the cake is. You know, everyone says they're not going to stream it. Of decimal. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, yet yeah. Daddy's got to work. Daddy's got to work, sadly. Who likes my content and likes my channel. And you've just been having a rough time with it the last couple of months. Like, dude, it's just nonstop RPGs and I can't take it. First, it was Baldur's Gate. Then it was like a dragon. Then you brought in Final Fantasy. This is ridiculous. You're right. That's why we're not doing that anymore. RPG Overload is done. I'm playing one RPG at a time. That's how we're going to have it for a while. All right, guys? Thank you so very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for Alone in the Dark and Dragon's Dogma 2. Peace out. See ya for Ooh, peace Dragon's out. Dogma 2. What? Okay. Time for the next the next. <laughs> so here we here you go. This one, this we're gonna do this, and then we we have an Ota tonight. Mm. Ministry of Sound. We have an Ota. Here we go with the champions. I did hear him Three. talk about Ichiban. Champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play Bobo Game Funny. Yeah, you do. Still think I'm a broke man. Yeah, you do, bitch. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Three. 
Free. Like Free indeed. A couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. So there you go. Now, imagine spending all that money on sweaty men. FF7 in the chat. You can mm -hmm. shut up right now because we've already discussed this. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth did absolutely poorly here on DSP Gaming. What is poorly? No support. Okay, that the definition. No money. But it. Okay, the first stream didn't get money, but the next one did. Mm hmm. And the next one after it's that, not the money did. he wanted. All right. I played about 20 hours, and it did not do well at all. People were not showing up for the streams. They were not engaging. They were falling asleep and talking about unrelated things. And Whose fault is that? So, yeah. Whose fault, is, whose fault is that? Actually saying it was boring when they watched me play it. The support was ridiculously low for a brand new RPG playthrough. Whose fault is that? I said, oh, maybe it's because of RPG overload. But if you want to know the truth, I don't think so. I don't think that was the case at all. I think it's just people aren't digging the game as much. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying I'm never going to go back to Final Fantasy VII, but if it's, I'm not going back to RPG overload. I refuse. If I'm gonna and then he plays. What do you think Dragon's Dogma is? Anyone? What do you think Dragon Dragon's Dogma is? It's an Dragon's RPG. Dogma. It's an RPG. Exactly. But did Dragon's Dogma make its money? Probably. Not really. I thought it was going to go upstate with the farm with um, Final Fantasy. I mean, I'm sure it will be going upstate with the farm with Final Fantasy. I'm going to choose between two RPGs. I'd rather play Dragon's Dogma 2 than Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth right now. But I might go back to Final Fantasy 7 in the future. Maybe when we get through Dragon's Dogma, we're looking for another RPG. We can go back to it. But I'm not no. playing two major RPGs at once. I'm not an idiot. We literally just did that for four months. I'm not a moron, and I don't... Who, who, who's, whose business decision was this? Yours. And what was dictated? Money. Care how many people spam the chat and whine like babies about it. I'm not killing my business further. Because in reality, as much as I enjoy RPGs, they kill this business. Literally, Baldur's Gate 3 hurt this channel badly for the last two months. I want That's not true. $14,000 says hello. That's really not true. Let, let, let's... Give me a minute. Let's, let, let's, look, at, let's look at DSP's views. Which... Alrighty, everyone. It's time. Ign ignore this. Ignore the lifetime views of 40, 462 million, you know. Ignore that and then this, but uh, look, look how many views he gets uh, a day, uh, D Dog. 10K. No, it's, it. Yeah. 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 Uh, March 20th, he got 30K. Mm hmm. 15, 15. The tractors beat this handedly. So we dropped FF7, wasting 70 bucks, but he's successful? Exactly. Exactly, Angry Bot. <laughs> that kind of shit. That kind of shit. And then he sits here and goes like, oh, uh, dra uh, Boulder's Gate hurt the channel. Can you point anywhere in this channel that anything that didn't hurt the channel? How about Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth? You, you, you're only get your none of your videos are going over a thousand views, bro. Bro, none of these are getting a thousand views. Can you fucking point out where, uh, where you're doing well on the doll anywhere, please? <laughs> Can you? Fucking point this out, please. No? He doesn't need to. He's going to show off to um, Phil Spencer, remember? Phil Spencer doesn't know how to run a business. I mean, this one got 3.2 thousand views, but 
your channel's dead, bro. Bro. Boroski, you idioski. Bro, Meister. You <laughs> just. I mean, this one got 1.1. 1. 1. Mm. Yeah, he's going to fumble a lot of games, man. This is what he does. I want you to understand that. That was a sacrifice to get through an insane game like that. And I'm not playing long games like that ever. No, you won't even beat the game. I can't. They don't fit my formula. All right? Even if they came out with ball. What is your formula? Rat poison and tire irons? What is your formula? Baby formula? <laughs> what is this? Well, you have to heat it up and make sure it's the right temperature. I mean, that, that takes work. Fuck. Linda, you should stop breastfeeding at an early age. I'm just saying. I mean, what is your formula? Sit here, beg for money, go very slowly, hope for money? Like, no one watches you. No one gives a fuck about you on the download. Baldur's Gate 4 tomorrow, I would not be playing it. I cannot play yes, these you kind would. of games anymore. Yeah, you it would. don't work. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it meant $100 every day, you would. No, he wants, oh. wants $3,000 for Baldur's Gate. For as he much wants as all the money. By the streams and supported them. The channel itself has dipped so badly. I'm not kidding you when I'm the telling channel you. channel itself dipped so badly. Thousands of dollars mm -hmm. a month. Bullshit. Where are you getting your numbers at, Phil? He's looking at the little the little line there. You go like, I'm down thousands of dollars a month. Bullshit. Uh, nah, dude, you're up. Because it's like, Final Fantasy didn't get you those donations. And Like a Dragon did not get you those donations. Bullshit. I have two things to say, um, Anthony. Ew and nice. Bullshit. Bullshit. You calling um, BS on that? Oh, all night, all day, and all night. Mm -hmm. All night long. Compared to all before night. I started Baldur's Gate three, this channel has dipped in views and support by thousands of dollars a month. Not true. So you Thousands. think, oh, but the streams do well, and the streams are great, but that's not a business. That's half of the business. Okay, fuckhead. You know what? You know what? D-Dog, let's not tell him. Mm -hmm. Let's not tell him. Let's not tell him. Okay. Right. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. G-Million, don't tell him. The business, though, but he is right. It is half the business, but the, the thing is, he doesn't take up don't sponsorship. Don't tell him. Don't you fucking know, He won't shield stuff, so. Don't tell him. Who's that? Who's that fault? Don't tell him. Don't tell him. I'm not gonna tell him. Don't tell him. I, I ain't telling him, Jack. I ain't telling you guys. Are him. you guys gonna tell him? Tell him things. Don't tell him anything. Nope. This dude just discovered a pause button on his fucking computer and thinks he's <laughs> got now. Hey, he yeah. he fixed up the microphone, which is now going back to muted somehow. Indeed. Tell him. One side has done good and the other side has completely faltered because of Baldur's Gate 3. Literally, that's the cause and effect reason it's happened. Okay? So, I can't oh, do Baldur's that. Did, did you look at your analytics? I'm not going to be doing nope. uh, this kind of insane stuff anymore now. killing this channel. All right. Hello, Earth to Bueller. Your channel's dead. <laughs> Hello. Bueller. Hello. Bueller. Only 9,000 people watch your channel. Fuckhead. Economics. Fuckhead. Literally. Guess guess how many views I got in the same week period? The same as DSP Gaming. Does that mean I'm popular than you? No, but it's the same as you. I got 8,896. 8, so get fucked, Phil. You got 9K? I got 9K. Fuck off. Channel dead. Um, so it was this clip channel, brand new clip channel that I had to I had to go. This is the Snort Fort Report with fifty subscribers. Uh, please send please send your love to this dude. He's not he's not on. You know me. I like I like to go out there in the jungles to find this shit. Oh. Let's just say... No, I'm not playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth now. I already said I'm not. Baby. It didn't do well when I was actively playing it. 
and I'm going to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2, so it's that or or one or the other, and I've chosen Dragon's Dogma 2 over Final Fantasy 7. I'm just more interested in it. It's boobies. It's boobies. Let's face it. You're scared of the bikinis and Cloud in a uh, in a very nice uh, thing, a very nice swimsuit. You're afraid. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. Fair enough? No. Nope. Okay. So. No. All right. Cream Sardine. Would you like me to ban Cream you Sardine. I just said I don't want anyone mm -hmm. bitching about this, and you're bitching, and I've had enough. He had enough. What is that to you? To what? I don't want enough. to you to enough. Have anyone bitching about Final Fantasy VII at all? Zero. Every complaint I get about it, I'm going to say shut up because I'm not killing mm -hmm. my business over this. Uh -huh. Your business is dead. Mm -hmm. Your business, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bro, your business is dead, dead, dead. And you're still complaining to your chat that you don't want to do something. Your fucking audience, the people that pay you to play Final Fantasy VII, one of the hottest RPGs out there right now. No, seriously, his. when I say this, I mean this with all my heart. His business is dead. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> He wants growth. You know, he's banning people is bigger than his um, growth is. He bans more people than he does get people subscribing. Right. If he actually cared about growth, well, he doesn't. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. I mean, he still has a nice, what is it, 200 people that show up to your streams? How many people showed up to Like a Dragon today? 130? Um, so he started off in the morning with 420 people. Okay. And by the Smoke time he got down. around to like a dragon streaming, he dropped down to about 250. Right. And he was gone for a good 15 minutes. So all day you only had 250 people watching you. Yeah. That's really pathetic. I mean, there's more people watching you, but we don't count those people. Like, there's more people watching you, but not like that, Phil. And if you say no, the restream is also because I've just had enough of yeah. this, this entitlement. Oh, I, I just want what I want, nothing else. And I'm going to sit here and whine and complain. But I just told you the rationale of why we're not doing it. Respect that. No, I want to me. Another me, thing. Me. Shut the. F we should have let him cook a little bit, but. Okay. Sorry, let, let, let him cook. cook. Yeah, because he's going to get all shitty. Fuck up now. Now I'm telling you, shut the fuck up. I literally just had my channel dying for four fucking months. I'm not doing it again because you're <laughs> going to be entitled about it. All right? I understand Hang on. if you like Final Fantasy VII. Personally, I was like the game too. I was disappointed with the reception it got on my streams. It was way low viewership, way low engagement, way low support. And I was like, wow, I was shocked. I thought it was going to do way better than it did. And to the point where I was like, well, if anything goes onto a, a hold status, it has to be this game. Because it's just not doing well. All right, now he's done. Kind okay. of. So th you go this first. is the problem with being a variety streamer. You're not you're not gonna appease everybody, no matter how much you try. You're not gonna do it. Yeah. And he's sitting here trying to appease everybody. No, it's not gonna happen. People are gonna complain, and you're sitting here fucking treating them like shit. They're gonna leave. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna leave, or they're gonna give them more money than today. They made them three hundred dollars. Why change? Why change? Why change? But you know, he he said for the last two months that you know life is great, things are wonderful, all the rest of it. So what what's changed now? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, he sits here and he's he's lying to his audience, going like, "I'm losing so much money on ad revenue." Prove you're you're losing a lot of ad revenue with ten thousand views per per week. What is that? Sixty thousand per month? I know it's more than that, but you know, rough math, you know. Mm -hmm. Or 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 nine k a day, uh, five hundred thousand views per month or whatever it is on shitty playthroughs that. No one's watching. It ain't growing. 
and it and the only thing that's left of you is the stagnant business that you're draining what is left of your pay pigs because actually getting new pay pigs is kind of hard mm-hmm. you know you kind of have to be like a keemstar level or someone else you have to branch out and get them you know they're out there but you have to you have to go out there you know leverage what you have you know so i've just i don't want to hear the whining i'm the one running trying to have a business here you know doing variety content this is not dsp rpg but it's not good and it is dsp rpg because that's all you want to play yeah you made this thing you made this bed sleep in it now and the wet spot yeah sleep in all of it and I'm not playing RPGs nonstop all year. I'm just not doing it. I can't do it. I will go out of fucking business. You understand me? I will. We're already out of business. I, mean, I know someone's like, if he's out of business, why is he here? Because literal people prop up the. <laughs> this is gonna. This happens in business too. Literal whales prop up your business. Yep. Yeah, and maybe he should have took the that. Of course. But he didn't want to do the work and and be under Keemstar. That's the answer. He didn't want his ego was bigger than who he was. Well, I will go out of business. Not every RPG I play is going to have people coming by. Like what happened with Baldur's Gate three? No one's coming by. No one's coming by ever. At all. Like it ain't happening. Like, I don't know what your graph, you know, I'm sure you've seen it, D-Dog. There's a graph in your in your analytics, you know, that tell you, oh, the ratio of new viewers to uh, content creators. I'm sure you've seen it. Where it shows you your analytics, you know. That show you, oh. These people come back from my videos. Not DSP, you know? Three and supporting every stream in a huge way. In fact, if you didn't notice, with Final Fantasy, it was actually really bad. So stop with the entitlement. Because that's not how, how this fucking channel can work. I wish it could. If I had my way, we would play way more RPGs. I want to make this abundantly clear. I, I it. love RPGs. I grew up playing them. in the sound like you do. But that's no, not like you are a bitching this whole time. Afloat. RPG Mania, I can't wait to get out of it. Right. Sound like you do. Balance. Okay. And they need to have variety. I'm not going to be listening to a vocal minority of people who are going to sit here and whine and then basically get my chat just caught up in crap. I'm just not going to listen to it anymore. I'm going to do what's right which means balance, which is always what's worked for this channel. And then when I stopped listening to that and I played a bunch of RPGs, it failed. I knew this was going to happen. I called it RPG Overload in January. Everyone's like, ah, oh, yeah. not a big deal. And then what happens? I, I'm not kidding. My views are way down and the profit on this channel is way down. Just because people come back every day and will, you know, tip on a, on a Baldur's Gate 3 stream, that's great. But what about everything else? What about ongoing memberships? What about people who would super chat when there was a great game that they enjoyed? All those people are gone. Yeah. You know why they're gone? Anyone want to take a guess why they're gone? They got banned for one thing. Well, that's one. And he's toxic for another. That, that's two. He drove them off. He, dro- he literally put them on the, on the public bus, shoved them in there and said, bye. Don't want you. Yeah, or not the public. You know, he put him on a bus and and shut the door and said, "Leave, please leave." See, you. I wouldn't want to be you. Not only leave, get the fuck out of Dodge. And then he goes like, "Where's everyone?" So that motherfucker to leave. You're like, "Yeah, they left." <laughs> Could have left think- the money before they went. He makes it sound like they're gonna come back and go like, "Please, DSP." I'm going to get on my hands and knees and tell me, tell you that I love you. Like, no, leave, leave. Imagine giving a man a hundred plus for a game and saying it's not good enough. Lol. doesn't, I know one thing here in this Boulder's gate thing. And these people gave him 150 and going like, well, it wasn't enough to save the channel and all that stuff. I'm like, Jesus, this boat is sinking. It must not have enough. 
Let's not have enough light boats. Holy shit. hundred bucks or whatever it was for Boulder's Gate to keep going. I mean, there was some bad Lack of Dragon streams, and then he had to, like, beg and probably send uh, erotic pictures to, to Ryan. You know, he wouldn't send it to his wife, but it will send them to Ryan. Ryan, mm-hmm. I need money. You think you can give me some money? X's and O's. Jinx, he owes you a cook. You understand? They literally left because they're like, dude, you're playing the same fucking RPGs every day for four months. We're tired of it. They want variety. And you know what DSP gave? You know what DSP gave them? Herpes? <laughs> yeah, herpes indeed. He's like, we're tired of RPGs. He's like, well, if you're tired of mashed potatoes, I'm giving you more. Mm-hmm. Not only I'm going to give you two weeks worth of it. Only these two games back to back like Drake. You could have had these. You could have had like a dragon done a long time ago, but you didn't want to. You could have. I was going to say Boulder Skate, but it really didn't. It really doesn't matter when you finish Boulder Skate. It seemed like you're just bitching and moaning. Now it's over. You're like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Just remember, this is what you pay for, motherfuckers. And can't wait for the the three part mini series of this is how you don't play Boulder Skate three or whatever how many parts that thing will be. And how many mm-hmm. hours it will be. Like that's an undertaking. Someone will do it, because someone will do it. People clamoring for new games to come into this situation or to have something like Elden Ring come back. They're tired of the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they're tired of you. Okay. I think so it's everyone, the I hope you understand, and if you don't, sorry that I can't give you everything you want all the time. As they say, you can please some of the people all the time, all the people some of the time, but you simply can't please... Well, you're not pleasing anyone. Not even some of the people. You know how many detractors you have? Pleasing. You have the most detractors out of everybody on the internet. Who are you pleasing? pleasing his wife. He's pleasing. not even pleasing his wife. Yeah, who? the only person he's pleasing is DSP Gaming, and that's about it. You ain't pleasing anyone else. Maybe Darish. Well, May 1st is coming up, so, you know. Maybe Darish. I think Please I'm everyone off all May the time. 1st. Ah, oh, the burst. Mm-hmm. So that's it, and I'm putting my foot down. I don't want to have anyone whining in the chat about it. I'm oh giving God. you a heads up. We're doing variety for the next two months until the end of Elden Ring DLC comes out. I'm so glad Snortport put this in here. If you don't like variety... You're in the wrong spot. This, this is great. The ESP RPG, where I get less than 200 views a video because no one cares about lengthy RPGs. No one cares about lengthy RPG. RPG. We're not doing that anymore. We're actually going to do variety content. Okay? Fair enough. Thank you to those who are being understanding, really. But if your people are going to be stupid about it and complain constantly, I'm not going to put up with it. Because it's, it's that kind of attitude that, sadly, people don't understand is very toxic. There's a difference between saying, man, I really wanted Final Fantasy VII and I really enjoyed it, but I understand why you can't play it right now. Versus, I want what I want, and if you don't give it to me, I'm going to act like a spoiled brat and just stand in your chat and whine and complain and make everything toxic. There's a big difference there. So, Phil, tell us what you want, what you really, really want. The only person that can be toxic is DSP Gaming. That's all we know, and that's all we always know. Mm -hmm. You see? (laughs) There's a huge difference. You're a huge difference. This would, this would be the equivalent, and I know you love the food references, right? You go into a restaurant, and they used to serve your favorite No, we dish. don't. For some reason. Oh, my God, the Parmesan um, so, sandwich place is back. They're not serving the dish you don't like. No, no, no. It's it, it's even worse than that. It's You go into this restaurant. It's run down. It's dingy. The light bulbs are not working. Everything's flickering. It, it, the, the toilets are broken. They're overflowing, actually. Mm-hmm. Every you look at the menu, it's super expensive. Everything's bullshit. the 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 server's an asshole. the The cook's an asshole, but you don't know that. You know, you sit down. the 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 chair's wobbling. You know, you know, the cook's an asshole. Yeah. The 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 the, the, the you know the chair's wobbling. The table's not even clean. The actually the table's in fucking with dust and shit. And you're like over here, like people eat here. Mm-hmm. Like what the hell? That's right. 
and then you eat it, and then and then you get the food, and the food's cold. It's not even cold. It tastes old, not even old. Like oh, it's been sitting out there. It's like it tastes like it's got dust in it. And you're like, what the fuck? Why are we here? It got that's five stars DSP. on Yelp. <laughs> yeah, that's DSP right there. You stand in the restaurant and scream at the top of your lungs, why don't you serve the dish? Why don't you serve the dish? Why don't and then you, and then, that's stupid. He's stupid. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you serve, because you know what dish people wanted? Boulder's Gate 3. You know what dish that you didn't want to serve? Boulder's Gate 3. And they paid it too. Mm -hmm. Why don't you serve the dish? Or do you leave and go somewhere else? We'll leave and go somewhere else. Right? Leave and go somewhere else. Or just maybe, if you're actually kind of adventurous, try a different dish. Because you might like it as much as the old one, right? Or maybe no, you like it even I'm more. Good. No, no not really. My OCD won't let me do it. Screaming yeah. around for Final Fantasy VII, which ain't happening anytime soon. Stick around and watch another playthrough, and you might like it. Instead of just being nope. a whiner about the thing that you are so entitled and demanding. Nope for. at all. Okay. And again, I'm a liner. that I didn't give it a chance. I absolutely gave Final Fantasy VII a chance, and it didn't work. It just didn't. People didn't show up. They that doesn't make sense. If people were ordering a dish that you don't give, that's a bad restaurant. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like going to McDonald's, and this happened once. And I only, when I mean once, I went to. This was during COVID, so you can understand, like the high, like the beginning of it, or it wasn't the beginning of it. It might have been like the middle ish of it. No, it was the beginning. I was in a I was in a McDonald's. They had a reduced menu. And this is the first time I ever went to a McDonald's. They didn't have chicken McNuggets. Wait, mm -hmm. your McDonald's did not have nuggets? This was during COVID. Like, they had half a menu, if that. Okay, yeah, yeah there was a shortage. So, you, you know what my McDonald's got rid of? What? Grilled chicken. Okay, I can understand that. But it's like. I'm not upset, but I'm like. Also got rid of leaf lettuce and salads. <laughs> you know, it, at that point, yeah. you know, you you yeah, you look at right. this reduced menu. Like you're like, lettuce would I would like a Big Mac. You're like, we don't have that. You're like, I would like a chicken McNugget. We don't have that. And you're like, what the hell do you have? I didn't say what the. What do you have? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it, it's not. I'm not being mean, but I'm like, what do you have? I will eat whatever you have. That's not a problem. What do you have? They were bored and said, this is, they were completely disengaged. That's how you can truly tell when a game just isn't resonating with an audience. When people are completely disengaged, they're literally not even talking about the game in the chat. Then talk to them. Talk to your audience. Talk to them. If they're talking about baseball, about the Atlanta Braves being the Phillies, nine to three at home. Citizens Bank Park, Philadelphia, PA, then talk to them. Raven, what do you randomly do with your chat? Randomly do? Talk to them? Yeah, what do you randomly do? Sometimes I go like, hey, guys, what you thinking about? What's up? Exactly. So, what you guys doing? So, so, bitch. Yeah. So, good nowhere. evening. Good evening. Hope you all are doing well. What do you guys... What's on your mind? Mm-hmm. They're doing everything they can to completely <clears throat> derail the chat because they don't care. Derail what? Der der derail? Help. Help me. Oh, look, guys. What's over there? It's a treasure chest. Let's go over here and fight the pirate. I beat the pirate. Let's go over here and climb up this wall. Oh, the 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 chat room's talking about the Atlanta Braves. They can't talk about the Atlanta Braves. I'm climbing a wall. Or something care about the game being played on at all and that's sad when that happens you know what i mean i want to have a stream that people are engaged in supporting and enjoying and if i can't do that no then no, no no one enjoys you <laughs> you don't even enjoy you 
Why am I going to continue to play that game? Okay. I hate you so much. Ah, uh, fuck off. You can't fight City Hall. You can't fight corporate America. We are big and we are small. DSP is a bitch. Doom, 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 doom. Here you go, guys. DSP gets upset about low viewership and support. Seriously. Look at him. Look at him. This dude is just sitting there going like the Bella of the ball here. Free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day. Yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. Oh, what an ordeal. That game never wanted to end. Seriously, I'm glad it's over. As much, again, as much as I... He looks like a gay waiter at a Viking restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed hanging out with you guys during that game. I am so relieved it's over. You guys have no clue. I've been waiting. I mean, I want to play other games, and every time I think I'm going to start another game, I start it, then I got to go back to this one, right? And what so a guilt trip. <laughs> bro, I imagine imagine going like, bro, I'm so glad this game's over. I want to play other – I want to see other people. He's, he's, is he breaking up with Boulder Skate? Boulder Skate, I'm breaking yeah, up with you. Yeah, he is. Boulder Skate, it, it, it's not you. It's very much me, and I don't like you. Please leave. <laughs> Like, dude, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. What the hell? You know, now I can finally, finally, finally play other games. It's a big breath of relief that tomorrow we're playing two completely different things than Baldur's Gate and Like a Dragon. Officially, it is done. RPG Overload is complete. Or is it? It is. I don't think okay. It is. Me either. No. Nope. No, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest and transparent with you. This game and Like a Dragon, because it's two insanely lengthy RPGs, have held me back from playing other new games. And this channel, viewership, I have dumped something like 200,000 plus views a month that I normally would get are gone. The views on this playthrough are abysmal. The stream, take a look, it's the, it's the conclusion stream. We had only not even 300 people for most of the stream. Typically a game that I play gets 400, 500 views, especially when it's new. And this game at first had oh, a lot no of views cares, and it trailed off after like... a few weeks and here I am. Not even the detractors care anymore. Nope. 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 You made your money and be happy about it. And three and a half months later. So the views are ridiculously down on DSP Gaming. No one wants to watch it. Who wants to watch? Whatever. Fuck you. You know what I'm going to say. They, you, they saw you stream it. They could go to Wall Phil. They could go to DDM. They already saw it. And if there was a point, they they could watch it on Twitter or anyone else. Why would they why would they want to watch Raw DSP play a game for an hour? Rawly. Fuck you. That's the answer. Revenue, super chats, and memberships are way down. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you it's over a thousand dollars a month lost that I used to make. Uh, no, it's not. RPGs. Liar. So now I got to try to build the channel back up. Really, I try to build the goddamn channel back up, and I gotta try to find games people are gonna watch. It's funny because every you're not, you don't, don't have the watch. You don't have the balls to to uh, build your channel up. You don't have the balls to have your channel uh, grow. You just, you just don't. You just don't. Every other game I play, when I played Battlefront, each video got three to four times as more views as a typical part of Baldur's Gate. When I played the shitty throwaway Silent Hill game. Right? That game sucked. That got 10 times more views than Baldur's Gate. It's funny because if you attend the streams, right? You'd be like, well, on the streams, I don't get it. He gets a lot of tips. That's all I get is I get some tips. I'm not getting any of the behind the scenes, you know, super chats, memberships that I used to get. They're all gone. Those, that was the well done. I used to get behind the scenes. I don't I was know. Maybe, maybe people are two broke and a half to three now. Maybe people are okay. feeling the effects of the reception. And also...
you're not as good as you used to be. Actually, you're worse. That's more of the thing. People don't care. You're not very good. It's not entertaining. Yeah, I mean, people just show up. I don't know why they show up. They they they, they just show up. Months I've been playing playing mostly RPGs, and those people left. They were like, "We're not going to yeah. sit around while Phil plays these long ass boring RPGs." Left or got they banned. Fucking left. So I can't Both. I can't support this channel on just people tipping during Baldur's Gate. You understand? Well, guess what, Phil? You want me? You want to know something? People are just people are not going to. They're either going to tip you because they want to see the clown car go, or not. Mm. And guess and and for for you motherfuckers out there that tip them, the OICs of the world, we ain't going to stop. We ain't going to stop. The <laughs> if you think that giving this man money. That we gonna stop? <laughs> we ain't stopping. This train is. There's no stopping this train. There's no stopping. Uh, no stopping. And, and we will. We will get our man. We. We. You will. We will be got. You can see here, like Canadian Mounties, eh? Yeah, we will get him. Yeah, we will get our man. Dudley do right. Well, f- <laughs> that's the thing. Mm-hmm. He's over here going like. My my views are down. Well, maybe people know that you're an asshole, and the people that accepted that you're not an asshole is dwindling. And you like no that entertaining. You're lucky you got the money you got for Boulder's Gate Three, a hundred bucks every time. But that's not even fun if you know that. It, it, it that's the boring part. I'll tell you. You want to know something boring? Knowing that this man's gonna make his money on Boulder's Gate Three. That was annoying. Give me mm. some, yeah. But that train is now stopped. Like, give Amazing me commissioned. I mean, I might. I mean, knowing that made made me go like, oh, he's gonna get his money, blah. You know, I'm out. And every time he did, it was never a moment. You, you never not got his money for like Biden 2020 or some bullshit. Mm. You know, sock account, not by actual support, by some bullshit. The Boulder's Gate. Gator right. or whatever it was called. Yeah, Boulder's Gator Theater, 150 here and all that stuff. And he's going to say like, oh, but other streamers get more money because they're good and people like them. People don't like they're entertaining. Them. Yes. And also they this finish the game and don't take like a month for Sundays. Right. A channel of variety, people coming in and watching at different times for different content. I didn't give you the content. I gave you the same fucking RPGs for three months and it killed the channel. So now it's time. Whose fucking fault is that? You you make your own schedule, Phil. You fucking make your own schedule. You could have said, you know what? I'm taking a break. I'm going to play something else for a bit. Like you did with Battlefront. I think my problem is I, I beat games too fast. Like, remember that game yesterday? Penny's Big Breakaway? Gone. Mm-hmm. Remember Gone. the other game you played? Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Yeah. Gone. Gone. One week. Gone. Gone. Princess Peach uh, Showtime, gone, gone. You can watch it in vertical and in landscape mode if you like. Any way you want it. Time to build back. Exactly, it's angry bot. Time to build this channel back up through a variety of content again. All right? <clears throat> See, that's the thing. Dark Gaming says you're crazy because Alan Wake you beat once you've seen the whole experience. No, not everyone cares about that. Not everyone said, well, every game that I play must be an insanely long experience with multiple winding paths of which you have. Here's the thing, right? Mm. You're a Let's Player, right? You play games as a Let's Play. You play every part as a Let's Play. Why the fuck am I watching endless grind of a game? Why am I? You're not talking to me. You're not talking to the audience. You're not. Cutting out the good parts, the bad parts, or any part. It, it's all raw. And it's not like you're you're making sure it's the point back to a good moment of the stream. That's why you're failing the algorithm because you're not making good strides to the, to the actual algorithm. You don't know how to play the game. You're going to keep playing the same game with the same viewership that is dwindling. You can't even do meta data correctly right i mean if you ask me phil 
you sit here and you're like, oh, my 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 audience was dwindling. You know, when you started Baldur's Gate, didn't you have 1,200 actual real people in the chat? Like, yeah, like actual people legit ready to go. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I remember it was over a thousand people. And it slowly died down after they found out how boring he was. Right. There was legit the people that forgot about Phil. Checked him out. Like. And 800 of them left. And he was still fucking doing the same boring ass bullshit. Mm hmm. Yeah. You have to play the game 700 times to see. I don't give a shit. I just want an enjoyable game that I can play, you know, and, and not have to spend half of my fucking year doing. And that's what it feels. It literally feels like now four months I've been playing this game. And it's like I've been held back from enjoying other things because the game is too fucking long. And again, who's fault is that? Exactly. You know, as fault as that? DSP. Oh, that guy. Yeah. That dude. And it's not that the game is bad. That me saying it's too long does not mean it's bad. It just means it's too long. For me to enjoy a game, I want it to be a more digestible experience, right? This is a thing that I hate about him because it's all about him, him, him. When you're streaming a game, it's not about you. It's about the audience, you know? Yeah. This you stream a game for your audience. That's the thing about the the uh these dumbasses don't realize DSP streams for himself to get money for himself. I don't give a yeah. fuck about you. No. That's why he was butthurt about the whole um what's it called? The gift of membership. The gift of membership is not for the the streamer, it's to engage and to do stuff for the what we call it, the community, the, the viewers. A streamer works for their dollar to make the stream and make people come in to make sure that they're watching and all that stuff. Like, that's yeah, that's what a good streamer does. He's lucky enough that he has 200 people show up to whatever he does. Chair spin, him looking like a, <laughs> looking like a broke down waiter at, at the fucking le Red Lobster. But that, that's not the point. It's just like... They don't, you don't go to a DSP gaming stream to have a good time. No. You, you, you're, you're there for the court gesture for him to have a good time. Okay. Not, oh, you have to sit you're here there to entertain him for four months yes. straight and skip out on everything else around you because you've been playing this one thing. And that's really what's happened here. I like variety streaming. I enjoy having a fighting game, a shooting game, an RPG, an action game, a horror game, and alternating between them. Shut up. Then you're never going to grow. Well, Phil, a lot of us don't only cover you. And only you. Only you. You don't see people go like, man, I would love to do some variety. Maybe go outside to the Cobra verse. Maybe go go to the Perry verse or what was the other verse? I can't think of, but those are the three there. The multiverse? Yeah, the multiverse indeed. <laughs> it's like, bro, your time is slowly. Just, just be happy with the audience you got and the money you get because fuck. It's not going your way. Mm -hmm. Everyone hates you. Even that being said, it's bigger than you. And they're not and they're a detractor channel that only talks about you and they get a thousand viewers. Think about it. I want you to think about it. Real viewers. Real viewers. Real people. Yeah. Judge Judy. Even even W Pig's getting more viewers than you. Really think about it. Mm -hmm. And that's what the, the lifeblood of this channel has always been. And I wasn't able to do that. Since late January, when Like a Dragon came out, and it's between Baldur's Gate and Like a Dragon constantly. I mean, honestly, do you want to know the truth? If I was not playing Baldur's Gate 3 or, or Like a Dragon and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was the only RPG I was playing, I bet it would have worked. I bet, because there's nothing wrong with that game. It's a good game. But you absolutely cannot 
absolutely fucking cannot play that many RPGs at once. You will not retain interest. No. This is not DSP. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. Now, Raven, I'm just going to make a suggestion out there. Uh-huh. Right? He has all these different channels. Mm -hmm. Right? But as he's saying, oh, but I'm a one-man entertainer. Well, yeah, you know, you've got your editors, but you won't let them do anything. You've got to approve it first before you upload it and all the rest of it. That's fine. That's your prerogative. But the thing is, you're being the, you are being the one man, so you're neglecting your main channel by doing these other channels. Maybe it's just when people me. have other channels, they've got a team, right? To the point where the talent, as he likes to call himself, works on the main, and the others take care of the other channel to help build the revenue for the employees. But because he he wants all the money to himself, because he's a nar narcissistic. Maniac. What was it? That's why he's his channel. He's my channel suffering. You're neglecting your channel. Here's the other problem he has. You want to know the other problem he has? You Go don't follow it. the twins. You don't. You don't see what other people are doing. Like we we talk all the time, hours sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like so, you know, when we come up with something, we're like, oh. I need to look into this, or I, I need to see what this person does. We watch a lot of content, Phil. Mm -hmm. You don't. Like, you might go like, hey, check this guy out. See what he does. And I'm like, cool. You don't. You don't. Because you're an egotistical asshole. RPG, the channel was not designed around RPGs. You understand that? So it's never going to work. And that's what happened, is that it didn't work. It killed. It, we had, I'll be honest, every time I play Baldur's Gate, there's probably five people who tip, and one of them is One Minute Man, and one of them is a person behind the scenes who's been incredibly generous. And to that person, just so you know, thank you, because this one person was really... Ah, so there is only two people then. It really is just, just two admitted people. just admitted it. It really is just two people that is just tipping for Baldur's Gate, and that's it. Yeah. And it's like, did you get on your hands and knees? Did you give them all... Did you give them... Nice, nice portrait snapshots, Phil. Was you know, round. Yeah. Did you finish the job? Was there a happy ending? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, D Dog. I'm gonna just say, imagine what you bought. I know it's not, it's not for sale, but imagine paying all that money for, mm -hmm. for that. He sold, he sold, and that's what you're trying to say. Yeah. Imagine. Just imagine that, you know, just 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 in general. Mm -hmm. And then he's telling you, thanks for the money, but it didn't make money. It's like you broke even. Shut the fuck up. You broke more than even. He's such a whiny little bitch. Supportive during the Baldur's Gate playthrough, and I really appreciate that. If it wasn't for them, it would have literally been every day dead. I'm not kidding. And it was just tips, too. We had a huge, huge dip in all other kinds of support. So even though on the surface, the streams look like they're doing well, in reality, the channel is suffering. And it Yeah, yeah, Phil. I could say the same thing. Can't make people tip, man. Mm -hmm. Can't make people get, break out their wallets and give me money. Nope. You know? It's, you know? It sucks, but... It, for you, that's what you expect, and you're lucky you got three hundred dollars to play with. But I could stream for fifteen hours, and wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter, Phil. That's not the point of it. That's not the point of it. You make too much money doing too little. It has it's feel like it? Does this? I've been felt beat up by this fucking game being so long. <clears throat> RPG overload is officially gone. Me playing nonstop RPGs on this channel is over. There will still be an RPG in the mix, but I refuse to play endless RPGs moving forward. I have endless to RPGs channel now to build it back to what it was because these last couple of months, actually, this channel has suffered greatly in attendance, viewership, and channel support with things like memberships and super chats. And the direct feedback I got is you're just playing too many RPGs. We want variety. Whose fault is that?
Whose fault is that? That's your fault. They're not coming back. Whoever said that's not coming back. It's only the Jades and the rest of the idiots. Variety back. So starting tomorrow, Variety returns to DSP Gaming. I'm just here. I'm going to have like a, like a little hangout session with my audience. That's really the only purpose of this right now is I just want to relax with you guys uh, and have a, a chill night because, man, I'm exhausted from playing these RPGs. I really am. Like, it took a lot out of me to play these. Well, if, it took, if RPGs took a lot out of you, then you're the world's most useless man. World's most useless man. What a bitch. Um, especially Baldur's Gate 3, over 140-hour playthrough. You know, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, 65 hours. It's, like, ridiculous. The length of these games and, and how much it took to get through them. So... Uh, no, I, Eclipse, I'm not specifically blaming Baldur's Gate 3 for hurting the channel. I've already said, it, there was a combination of many factors that happened since January, including people finding this YouTube loophole where you could basically use a VPN to do fake memberships that aren't paid for, so I get nothing out of them, among other things. But that's Jeez, one aspect. Still on All about you have that. to do is take a look at oh, yeah. this channel, and you it can see sad. since December, this is my viewership. Literally, it's a downward slope. And I said, well, why? The you know what? I'm so sick of him. I hope your channel dies. It's already dead. But I hope it dies more. I hope you get four views. I know it's mean to say, but I really hope your channel just keeps sliding. Majority of games I'm playing. Because you're not listening. That's the answer is why I'm like. Are Baldur's Gate 3 or Like a Dragon and me trying to cram other games between them and they're getting choked by those two games. I mean, I had to put my foot down two weeks ago and say, no, we are finishing these two goddamn games so I can finally play new ones. This is not just about, oh, income, which is what a lot of idiots like to make it out about. The channel he has to be healthy. does not have to finish this games. It's, it's about income. Boulder's Gate was yeah. bringing the money. About income. It fucked. The channel was doing good at the end of 2023. And then RPGs choked the channel. There's too many. It's like I, I was just saying, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out in the middle of this. I feel Final Fantasy VII Rebirth would have done fine as a playthrough on this channel if I wasn't already playing Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. When you have three major RPGs going on at once, there's no way you're going to retain interest for all of them. People will probably focus on maybe one at the most. No one's focusing on any of your shit. We hate you. What does what does we hate you do you not understand? The we part? The we. Yep. And the hate part. I mean it doesn't have his name in it, so you know. Like do do you not understand like only a select of group of idiots that like you? Maybe? Kind of? Tolerate? Give you money? Maybe. That's about it. Most two. No one's going to be fucking watching three RPGs on this channel at once. That's insane. So other games have been choked to death by the other RPGs being too long and lingering. And how are we going to unchoke the chicken? We're going to play another RPG. But well, we have to milk the cow if we're in the count, choke the chicken. Yeah, milk the cow, choke the chicken, you know, lay the egg, all of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty and much. that's just a fact. Okay, is it good that people came by the Baldur's Gate 3 streams and supported them? Absolutely, because if they didn't, I probably would have gone out of business. But outside of that, the rest of the... Ch You're already out of business. You're already out of business. Your channel's I think the sandwich. I think the sandwich shop closed up, sir. So. Oh, the sandwich shop's closed up, and you wonder, like, why is the building not, not sold? You're like, oh, because the lease is not up. Why is the lease not up? Oh, because the lease gets paid every month. How? How? Well, he paid six months in advance, so, you know. Right. He has to pay first and last month's rent. Bro. Just... The channel has suffered hugely, and so I need to build that back. I need to get back on track, and that's what I'm focused on now. Variety on this channel. Not RPG, RPG, RPG. Oh, variety. RPG. We're not doing that again. Variety, man. Okay? Variety is the mm -hmm. spice of life. Mm-hmm. Tub Tubs, I literally know nothing about Sandland. I have not paid any attention to other RPGs because I've been in RPG overload, so I'm not paying attention wait, to wait, any wait, fucking Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, wait. He was mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. about Sandland when um Toriyama died. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And now he doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. Nope. Bullshit. I know. Fuck. Well, it's not making him any money, so he had to del- purge that out of his um, hard drive memory. You know it. Yeah, that that I I know, but but still. That muscle memory doesn't and, and make on its own, you know. believe this shit, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much. RPGs outside of what I've been doing. I have no intention of starting any new RPGs anytime soon. That would be really fucking stupid. So, my focus right now is Dragon's Dogma 2. That's my RPG. And then balancing it with all other kinds of games. Through Dragon's Dogma 2, then we could talk about other RPGs. I don't even want to hear the name of a fucking RPG right now. Seriously. I don't care. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm that burnt out. I don't want to hear another fucking 20 RPG names. I'm tired of this shit. If you're burnt out on video games and RPGs, then this is not the, well, this mate, is not the place doing video games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, G. It's time for your... I, I found right, I found the second. second. I'm finding right. a giant shark. What? Okay. You know what? <laughs> I, I thought of this too. What's that? That he was fighting a, a big giant shark. We're gonna go to well. Well, uh, hopefully it's not like um, Eddie Murphy's brother Charlie in the bathtub because a big brown shark came. And where here. the bubbles are coming from? Here, here's a... This. Is high army, bro. You no. Know, yesterday, and every store had Easter stuff in it. We're like, oh, crap, yeah. That's right. <laughs> you know? How about right this? Now, we're trying to figure out if we're going to do anything for our anniversary. It's you, our fifth you wedding this one anniversary down a bit. this year. Yeah, bring it down a lot. Yeah, yeah, eardrums up. Yeah, like, when I, is I it? Think hate arm oh, yeah, April 10th. Is up, is uh, maybe we should have a day off that day and go out and do something. It's like, our lives are so hectic. With all the stuff that we're busy it. with, that we forget about shit ninety percent of the time. I would, I literally would not remember my own birthday unless I did a stream of it. Seriously, I, I, it, it basically I find it I, very hard to believe. Now the answer is no. He he only does his the, his birthday stream because he knows he's gonna get a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. It's basically the only time he's like, I get money. I Lots would of it. Think or remember when my birthday was. It's my unless birthday. Unless we were doing an event on that day, right? Bullshit. So. I think we're going to do something. We were talking about, regardless if we have the actual anniversary day off or another day that week, we're probably going to go out to dinner somewhere nice that day. We're trying to figure it out right now. Okay. Oh, um, he confirmed. I got it right. Heather owes me money. Have a pee. Um, when is DSP's anniversary? Uh, April 10th. Yep. Four days after his birthday. He remembers his birthday, but he doesn't remember his anniversary. The statement that I like to call Phil's day off. Because he doesn't give a fuck about the birthday. He doesn't give a fuck yeah, about so, the anniversary. Yeah, so when he flew home to visit his parents, they celebrated his birthday first, and then four days later, oh, yeah, I'm getting married. Yeah. That's how it went. I Yeah, yeah. And that's why the the that's why he gets shafted because he's like, well, my birthday, and then I get to celebrate my birthday again in four days. Yeah, Phil. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get I presents get two times over. Yeah, do you think do you think DSP ever got cat anything nice for their wedding anniversary? I mean, oh. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. What besides the um. Gas station. Have you have you ever forgotten your significant other's anniversary when you wouldn't she f- put you through the window, to the table, oh, yeah. to the wall, <laughs> to the window, I- to the wall? <laughs> skeet, 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 skeet. Right. <laughs> what happened to D Dog? He forgot his fucking anniversary. He's yeah, exactly. It's something you don't forget, and women don't oh, no. forget it. I, I I forgot my anniversary once. And never again. Yeah, because what was it? Those scars were left deep. I will never forget the anniversary ever, ever. There's ever. two things in life you never forget: wedding anniversary and your wife's birthday. God forbid if you forget your wife's birthday, you are dead. Well, technically, there's free. And this is how it goes: your wife's birthday, taxes, and wedding okay. anniversary. Those three. 
Anything else, you can, you can forget about as much as you like. You forget those three, you're screwed. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Nothing thousand... worse than an angry wife is an angry tax man. Indeed. That uh, an interesting coincidence. That's, that's what I call it. Um, yesterday was a busy day. My wife and I were all over the place. We had to all stock up on a bunch of stuff that we were out of. All over the place. Um, and had other mm-hmm. errands and things that we had to Pretty run. We didn't have trash. any uh, big major like appointments or anything like that for a change, which was Thank good. God. But we did have a ton of stuff to do. We were running around. Um, actually, while we were out. Went to one of those. As I've been telling you, sometimes I go to these more discount clothing resellers. I never go and buy things. Uh, just, just say, just say it's the Goodwill store, Phil. It's okay. Yeah, you're going thrift shopping. You're busting tags. You got not even twenty dollars in your pocket. It's okay. I bought a few things from the thrift store these. I know. This week, it's good. It's fine. Yeah, it, it, the way the way he makes it out is some sort of special. And no, I wasn't looking to buy some. I wasn't looking to buy like. Really, I just wanted to buy something cheap, something cheap. <laughs> yeah, something hey, comfy and wrong, cheap. I go for shop shopping all the time. I'm always looking for cosplay stuff. Indeed, things make oh, it full unique. Price. In fact, I'm going to tell you a story now. So we went to this <clears throat> discount place that resells unsold clothing from you know top name stores uh, at a huge discounted price. I got five new shirts for the summer. All right, short oh sleeve shirts. Guys. Some are similar to like the the Hawaiian style shirts that I already oh had. No. A, lot are not, a lot are just different designs that are kind of nice and different. Think shirts like this, but short sleeve instead that I can wear during the spring or summer. So I got five of them, and each one was twelve dollars or less. Okay, so pretty good. That, that's not fair. whatever. Fuck you. So one of them is an Izod shirt. You got an Izod shirt called. See, see something or something like see that. Sea of salt water or something like that. And I think what it's supposed to be is meant to be like a summertime shirt. So you think salt water, the beach. Oh my right? god! That's the name of the line of of shirts. And it's a really nice tropical looking shirt. You're a tropical and then we looking went shirt. afterward to a What's name, the name brand of the, full the price shirt? store. Brand- was selling the brand new clothes at full Eyes price. Odd. The same line of shirts sell for forty five dollars new. And this shirt is new. It's just unsold. I was like, dude, I just bought a $45 shirt for $12 just because I bought it at a discount store rather than getting it at the name brand store. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I love Izod shirts. And I was like, wow, that's Izod really shirts. awesome savings. And it, it just sucks because obviously what happens is then you go to the full price store and you start oh my lord, shirts. I'm like, oh, my God, what? champion. Look at the quality of this shirt. It's like that dead shirt material. It's so good, and it's fifty dollars. You have a picture? I, I don't have to give you a picture. I'll send you the website, sir. Okay, send me the website of these ugly shirts. Yeah, yeah. what was it? a website tells you? you know, if a picture tells you a thousand words, a website's going to give you a, a million, six million. That's an interesting number, isn't it? All right, let's let's check out these I saw ugly shirts. And they're very ugly. All right. Oh yeah, they're see. dad shirts. Oh, what? Hang on. Oh, is it because it, uh, it's Australian? Hang on. Oh. I can fix that. I can fix that. Oh. I can fix that. I can fix that. Don't you worry. Just stay with me. Stay with me. Yep. Uh, uh, delete. We're going to America. America. There's no fucking way I'm spending fifty dollars on one shirt. I'm not crazy rich. I'm not blowing my money like that, right? Yeah, but we know they're not fifty dollars. But we know they're, they're, they're your money on. You'd rather blow one hundred and ten dollars on sweaty men JPEGs. Oh God, they're even worse. <laughs> I thought the Australian website was bad. Here we go. You go into the US now, my friend. All right. Oh, uh, f- which one? Buff bag not included. The bottom one. This one? This one's terrible. Oh, ew. Ew. Bro. <laughs> ew. 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 Like, ew. 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 I feel like that episode of Secret Scroll with the chameleon. Ew. Look at that. Look at that one for $27, right? When you go back to the front page. It, it was. It looks like generic um, Tiger Woods. <laughs> Dollar Store Tiger Woods over here. 
Y oye. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Generic Tiger Woods over here. The, the the guy standing next to Tiger Woods, he looks like uh what's his name? Uh uh, uh what's that? DJ Khaled, that's him. <laughs> that's him. Ew, Generic DJ ew. Khaled. <laughs> Discount DJ Khaled for thirty seven dollars. And like, oh, here's another one. I really like the look of these because they're Eddie Bauer. I was like, oh, Eddie Bauer shirts. These look really good. Oh, those are. F I bought Eddie Bauer shorts. That's that is all. Yeah. Forty three dollars each. Like what? Why are you? Why are you looking at the prices of these things? Oh fuck! Yeah, that full you, price Phil. stuff is ridiculous. <clears throat> I hate you, Phil, so, so much. Yeah, I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm glad I went to the discount store first. And bought the shirts I got there because <laughs> seeing them full price is like, oh my god. But I had Would've. zero temptation to buy any of them oh because I already god. got five shirts for like 50 bucks. I have zero temptation to buy them. Bucks. You see? So, yeah, so that's good. So I will have more shirts in my rotation once it gets warmer. And by the way, it may get warmer sooner rather than later. When I was actually checking the weather here, um, it looks like even this week it's going to warm up. Uh, one day, probably like Tuesday-ish. It's supposed to be almost 70 degrees here, but then it cools down again the next day. Oh so we're going to have like some days when it's warm, and the cool thing <laughs> is I have the ability to wear shorts and a yes, short Yes, JC 200 Phil, isn't real. Phil, you should never wear shorts ever again. You just look, you look like a fucking potato. Like, you, you're a pants guy forever. Wear pants forever. Me too, because mm -hmm. I have them now. Um... You're so a potato. Good. So that was fun. And then for dinner, we actually went to a different ramen place. Oh, God. That we usually go to. But it was still local. Not the one in Sears? Absolutely good. It was delicious. It was full of flavor. You know, you no. can buy just ramen from the supermarket, take it home, put it in boiling water for two minutes. Boom. Job done. You know what's weird? You know, is the only person, you know, he never had ramen until this bitch showed up. Mm-hmm. You think DSP ever had ramen in his life? No, he didn't even know. He was eating it with a fucking spoon. Yes. And then now all of a sudden you're a ramen expert? Fuck off. Mm. All of a sudden DSP's all about, knows all about the ramen. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't found a good ramen place where I am. I don't even have ramen places where I am. I want one. Ramen? Uh, the one I got had more of like a pork base while cat got one that had a miso base so they tasted completely miso. different they even put different noodles yeah, in miso them. Honey. Inner noodles and she had thicker noodles we love you long time the pork they put slices yeah. of pork belly and the pork belly was so amazing it was like for five in your mouth good it was a super duper good ramen dinner that we had while we were out which we almost never no wonder she's fat duper, duper. no wonder she's fat she's eating starches and ramen and shit mm -hmm. never do we never almost never eat out like that um, but it was fun because we were out almost all day. Like we we left the house, I want to say around noonish. Noonish. And we didn't get home till after, what? like eight thirty p.m. So we were out like all day. Oh Those my god, you Costco. crazy kids! The fuck! You were I mean, out for eight hours, almost like a work schedule. Oh my god, DSP was out with his wife for eight hours, and and he came back, and he didn't want to kill him. On a school night of all Next nights. Store, clothing shopping, all kinds of shit. It took us all day long. So it was a very busy day, a very tiring day. By the time I got home, I was sore. You know, I'm not used to being out eight, nine hours straight. He was sore. Jesus. Eight, nine hours. He's not. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Jesus. You know oh, what? Baby. I'm used to you being out nap? 12 hours, and I'm not sore. Fuck off. Yeah. Dude. My heart only works at 25%. The minimum is supposed to be 40. And I've got to do things for 12, 15 hours. Bro. Around carrying stuff. Got home like, oh my god. Old Ooh, he had still, to carry right? stuff oh, as well. My back is killing me. Yeah, fucking, those know, five shirts must have really broke your arms there, Phil. I'm in a chair and I'm not used to moving. <laughs> you don't move anyway. Oh, Lord. So, oh. <clears throat> that was Phil's day off. Nothing ultra crazy, but it was a good day, productive day. I'm happy to have more shirts in my wardrobe that I'll be wearing on streams. 
in probably just a few weeks. How about you kill this shirt? It's screaming for mercy. Yeah, th those buttons are holding on for dear life. This this shirt wants to fucking uh, literally leave your body forever. To a month when it gets warmer here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so now, ladies and gentlemen, moving. F nope. Are you ready for like a dragon? Yep. yep. Like a dragon. Hey. Hey. DSP is going to review it for the very last time. Like, like a, a dragon. dragon. going to be stuff that's going to piss you off, too. Oh, I'm sure of it. It's going to piss us off to the end of die. Time. But at the same time, that really makes like literally two games feel like there was a complete bait and switch, right? He looks like a. He Why is like he a, talking like that? He looks like a gay Wait, cowboy. There, like, can you go back? Like, what? Yeah, I'll go back. I'm gonna go back to. Go back to. Uh, here. Yeah, go back go more. Back to here. Regained his name. Oh, wow, no. that was a cool name for the achievement. It was sixty hours the man of who gameplay. His name. Wow. It was sixty-four hours. Wow. So, I mean, here's the thing. Obviously, if you're a fan of Kiryu, you're happy. But at the same time, fan of Kiryu, you're that literally happy. makes the last you're two happy. games completely superfluous, right? Like no, the like a dragon no, no, Gaiden, no, no, no. This whole oh. game where No. No, no, no. Here's the thing. In chapter eight, remember how he went back to Japan mm -hmm. and all that? I sure do. Mm -hmm. They did something called a bucket list to to help show Kiryu what is worth living for. That was the point of that chapter to live out his memories to show um, show show the players what happened throughout the six games. Mm -hmm. And the show Kiryu what he's leaving behind if he goes. Mm -hmm. The point of that chapter was to convince him to get treatment at the hospital. Uh, Kiryu has stage four cancer and oh and he didn't want to get treatment well during the last cutscene and everyone everything um when he was fighting Eb ebna he decided to go get treatment and you guys are going to see it soon so Th this well, is the content actually we're we're not because this is at he's this is after you saved it yeah or he's doing so, I don't know if you list, want to go back even more. Or... Missions, Sorry, it literally here. makes them all pointless. Uh, because he's just going to... We could. You want me to go back to this scene right here? Yeah, go back to this scene. Yeah, so this is Haruka and Haruto. It's Haruka! Really? Really, Phil? Oh, shit! So she found out that Kitty is actually hey, in the Mom? hospital. How come Grandpa isn't here? He's gone. It's okay, Harto. If I know him, we'll see. Oh him come soon. on! It's a cliffhanger. I know we will. That play out, dumbass. It's a goddamn yeah. cliffhanger ending. Oh come on! Oh man. Maybe not. They're just teasing. They teased the cliffhanger. <clears throat> hey Phil, let it cook and then you'll know. Instead of trying to Exactly. Yes. The... This is why you don't talk under uh Hello. You're the inpatient with the 11 a.m. this morning, yes. is that correct? he's getting treatment. He changed his mind. Yep. If you would, could you please provide your full name, sir? Yep. He looks terrible. It's Kiryu. Oh, well, yeah. Kazuma Kiryu. He almost died. Yeah. So? Ben! Stop being so ben! goddamn getting treatment. Finn. You know what that means. Finn Balor. 
the man who regained his name. Wow, oh, that was go. a cool name for the achievement. The man who regained his name. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, here's the thing. Obviously, if uh -oh. you're a fan of Kiryu, you're happy. But at the same time, that literally makes the last oh two God. games completely superfluous, right? Like the whole Like a Dragon nope. Gaiden. No. This whole game where he's doing his bucket list, the Date missions, it literally makes them all pointless. Because he's no. just going to no. get no. treatment. You want no. him to die? What? Why does it make it pointless? Ex exactly, because going into this game, Kiryu had no hope of living. He just wanted to die for this whole assignment. Yeah, but and now he's found the, the reason whole... to live. Yeah, he, and the point of the Date missions and the bucket list was to find a reason for him to live, to prolong yeah. his life. Like I said, he has stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, chances of survival is slim anyway, so... Yeah, but he has nothing to lose. Exactly. And he and he's just thrown that whole stage four thing out the window. He thinks every cancer is curable. He's like, oh, he's at the hospital. He's gonna live. No, no, we don't. no that's not how this works. I I've got many friends who passed away from cancer because you know the thing, and then my mother survived her cancer treatment. It, it, God damn it, Phil. You're an idiot. Indeed. Idiot, idiot. And he's going to be fine. He's gonna, you know they're not going to kill him off again. There was a whole reason why they said he was already done. And then they brought him back as a cameo in Like a Dragon. Or, or Yakuza Like a Dragon. Then they had a spin-off game. Then he's the co-protagonist of this one. Wow. Dark he already forgot what happened in the last Dark game. Are you stupid? Yeah, pretty much. Of course he's going to survive. There is absolutely no, no. fucking way. No, it's a video game, Phil. Camera between Good. games. He will he absolutely survive. Like, be back. They could keep him alive Maybe for a cameo. Maybe he won't be a, a full character yeah. you control. He will... They could have. They really could. But they didn't. Absolutely continue on in the plot line of these games. So, I mean, I'm happy. Listen, I didn't want Kiryu to die. But at the same Nobody time... Wants. That really Kiryu makes like die. literally two games. And when he talks, feel like we'd like a that. Complete bait and switch. With his voice, right? gets up the end. Oh man! Anyway, hey, Mojo. so here's the thing. All right, the ending wasn't bad, but it also wasn't nearly as good wasn't as bad, the plot. But they're gonna talk of the original at the like end. The dragon, right? It just wasn't, in my opinion. Like I liked Yakuza Seven. The plot was just much better than this. Um. Okay, I do agree. Definitely having the uh, two seven was plots better. go on at once, the Pelicana the and the Abina plots, mm -hmm. kind of waters down the... Yeah, but then the next game was coming out, right? Each. Right. And when you have those finale fights, they don't feel like as impactful as the and, and the, the finale fight. As impactful. Of any other Yakuza game. It's honestly. like um, Back to the Future. It feels Back like to the Future 1, they really didn't know fights, about right? they were going to make and another movie. But right. when they did two, they made three at the same time. So they were back to back. So they knew the ending. Indeed. Right. They didn't like when seven came out, they didn't know they were going to continue off this game because, because they didn't know the whole turn based things, turn based combat's going to do well. And a whole new cast of characters, they didn't know how people are going to take to them. Mm -hmm. And during the development of this game, guess what? The uh, the main the main developer or the main guy in charge of RGG just went up and left and started his own studio. So they're off on a different, you know, person Adventure. in charge. Yeah. So guess what? This game had a kind of like a rocky development. That's partially why this game took forever to come out. There you go, Phil. To be honest, they weren't even that hard. But like you know, Mojo said, just out. this one time in band camp. Indeed, in bear camp or bear. Oh, yeah. Right. So, yeah, the way I see it is, I listen. I'm happy. Are you survived? 
but and i get it like they wanted to have this almost like two characters going full character arc with kasuga he finally realizes that it's really his spirit that his heart that brings the best out of others around him tomi said it at the end there there's well the way you played it the you he seemed like a lonely dick that just goes and sing karaoke and beats up people. He's pretty miserable. I mean, how did you play Kazika? Was he was he around people you liked? Did he go out and do girls bar stuff? I did. I did every single um, bucket list and Date missions that I could. All right. So I'm like 90 percent done with them. Okay, but DSP didn't. He did the bare no. minimum, the bare minimum, and hope to God that people liked it. To just beat the game, and that's it. There's something about him being around him, being this, like, super positive lug. You know, he's kind of dumb, but at the same time, he's kind of like the heart of the games now, right? So that's his arc. He's going to carry on positively no matter what people say about him. He's infinitely wealthy regardless because he's he's a happy guy that brings positivity to those around he's him. Happy right? Boy, happy and boy. you getting the redemption now. Finally, he feels like he can move forward positively and try to right the wrongs he did during his time when he was part of the Yakuza. And that's his now, his drive. And now he doesn't want to die anymore. He wants to live so he can improve everyone's lives around him. Including the Yakuza, like you, Phil, formed or trying to reform, right? So, unlike you, totally, one hundred percent. I get, I get it. Totally. I get the character arcs ending, but at this, I don't time, understand why he's not watching the like after a cheating bait scene. Switch There's another scene after to this. say, hey, so you know, you don't know it though. The end of Kiryu for the last two games, and yeah, guess what? If he watches the after scene, he can just sit there ramble back for future games. That right? is true. So, overall, he's making his own thing. story. All right, what did I like about the game? The graphics, the combat being dramatically improved from the last one, the whole attack in certain directions and do combos, the team ups. A lot of the combat was very, very, very improved. The whole, you know, move around and everything. That was great. The two locations, a great idea. Instead of just doing Japan again or just doing one new location, have the fan service of Japan, but also have a whole new location in Hawaii. Fan that service worked out really, really well Japan. and it allowed for new in interesting mm -hmm. plot and situations like the Hawaiian cuisine and the plot lines about Hawaiian tourism and stuff. That was really neat. It was well done. Um, <clears throat> it's exaggerated Hawaii dipshit. You think Hawaii is yeah, that? If somebody ever asks him, have you ever been to Hawaii? Yeah, I have. In a video game. Do you think Hawaii is just super Japanese? It probably is, but probably not. G Million, is it super Japanese? No. Uh, not really. No. I've been to Hawaii. No. Okay. I've been to that exact location in Hawaii. No. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. But that, like I was saying. Um, that place is modeled after Honolulu. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it seemed like it was if if Honolulu was like turn it to San Fran, Tokyo. Here's the thing, it's Japanese pe people interpreting why. Yeah, right. it's like Scottish people interpreting um, America and GTA. Exactly. Though, though I liked insane amounts of side content. If you want to sink a hundred hours into this game, you can. Right, I sunk. About 63, 64, something like that into it. No one's listening really to you, Phil. My time with it. I know I skipped a lot, but I'm going to be honest with you now. I'm happy I skipped a lot because imagine if I did all the bucket list and all the Date missions and all the stuff for Kiryu. You didn't want to do that. You just wanted the game done so you can just go, go on to your next game. Exactly. <laughs> and he even fucking clocked out early, too, because he made his money. Yeah. 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 He made his money. He's like, fuck this. I'm out. You just to find out at the end of the game, oh, he changed his mind. It's like, what? So, I get it. It's a it's a good game in that regard. Um, it's a but good for game me, it's, in just, that it's regard. too much. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of side content that I didn't want to do. The whole Sujimon thing, the Dondoko Island, it's a shame because they're in there, and they don't really add anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, did I need Sujimon? You Not didn't want to do them did because your all. wife didn't want to do it with you, and you weren't making money doing it. What is Sujimon? Hmm? The Sujimon missions, is that just like, ew, 
girly stuff. Um, the Sujimon missions are kind of like, um, like Sujimon battles and Sujimon leagues and all that. They try to mimic Pokemon. I you go see. around finding um, Sujimon trainers and all that, and collect Sujimon so you can get the Suji Master class and build up that class and everything. I see. Never added anything to the game. I didn't need that final class. It was just completely superfluous to the game. Um, it's a really good class. It's a very good class. But it's nice to know it's in there if you want to do it. But man, it was, it's kind of disappointing that it doesn't really do anything for you in the game. And the Does it? If you level it up and stuff, does it do anything for you? G? No. There's one more thing that um you skipped um during the end credits scene. Mm -hmm. There's a part where Ichiban gets beaten up, smiles and walks walks to the police station. And guess what? Bill said, Oh, this is just like me. No matter how many times people beat me up, I get up, smile, and just keep going on. Nope. Wait, what? Nope. I call bullshit. Yeah, bullshit card indeed. Yeah, it is bullshit. Amount is overwhelming. That amount of side content is seriously overwhelming. If one thing, my two complaints, pacing, there's certain chapters where that opened up and had so much content in them, I ended up getting stuck 10, 15 hours in one chapter. Then I screwed Who's the next fault three is chapters. for doing all the side content? Yeah, that's Only your fault, Phil. You. That's you, bitch. That's you, bitch. Mm hmm. And he wonders why people don't watch it because people don't watch endless hours of side content. No, people are short. Their attention spans are short. They, the, you know what they find consider long content, Raven? What? Ten minutes. That is true. That is long. He's, he's that's, doing. Hours. That's what people think is long content. Anything longer than that, they don't want to know about it. He's so crazy. In like two hours it's like whoa you know the pacing is definitely off there and the plot the plot suffers because it, it's a premise what? that you believe is happening with the bucket list to cure you and it's just not it's a bait and switch and you know they're going to continue on with this character in future games now so at the end of the day <clears throat> i do still like it okay but I don't love it, and I don't like it as much as the last one. So Yako well, if you don't love it, don't marry it. Missions, the Daido won't marry it. To Make change it his name again, and he's not going to do key. But then the ending retcons that anyway. Be lower. It's pregnant. It's already right, pregnant. The final fight. That's when he has the change mm -hmm. of heart. That's when he's crying over Ibina, and basically he says he's he's sorry, and he's going to change his life now. Instead of just giving up and dying, he's. Gonna you know what's funny? Nothing will change DSP. Nope. Ain't nothing. He will never have that come to Jesus moment. Sorry, it's just, you know what I mean. He will never have that moment, ever. He's going to fight to live and then right the wrongs that he committed by allowing the Yakuza to exist and do the thing. What wrongs have DSP uh, righted? None. 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 Things that they did. So, yeah, that's what I mean, like, it definitely feels like a, a bad, a bad, bad written ending bait and switch. Because honestly, did I think that they were going to kill off Kiryu? No. He, Kiryu is the staple character in their franchise. Like we've been saying, Sega doesn't have a lot going for them. They've got hey, Atlas man. with with Persona, and they've got Yakuza and and Judgment. This is what they have. Like Sonic has failed. Atlas, the their bookkeeper. Woo! Shout out. Yeah, making games. It's games you, you are not know how popular. Sonic is Phil. Very. Does he? Games are not done it's in a vacuum. TV series Knuckles at the end of this month. In a movie uh, coming April? out in April. Yeah. Fuck yep. off, Phil. Well, they're not going to kill off their main character, and having two games based around that premise makes you feel like it's 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 a cheat. They could, right? I. But the thing is, it's like a happy cheat because I'm happy because I like the character and I want to see him in more games. So I'm not sad that he's alive. I don't know if you're going to see him in more games, they, Phil. You might. You know, they lied to us for two games, right? 
And I already said that, David. He says it doesn't prove he's going to be a main character in future games. He could easily just be a, a supporting character. In fact, honestly, I would like the next game to just be cost. Or he might not be a character in the game unless you just go visit him and it'll be someone else. That's a stage four cancer. Am I crazy? Mm -hmm. want stage four cancer. He just might be in the background to give you some information or something. Do you, you want a, know. Do you want a stage four cancer dude that is literally brittle and fighting next to you? They might do that in this game. This game sounds weird, but, you know, wheelchair Kiryu or whatever, Kazuka. Kazuka. And then maybe Kiryu comes in as a cameo, maybe for a chapter. You can even have him playable for a chapter. But I don't want another game with him being the focus again like this. You know what I mean? Like... I definitely, or, or maybe he'll continue on to have spinoff games that play like Gaiden did, right? And that's okay. I want Kasuga to have his time in the sun. He, just he did have, wait, you go, G. This is your territory. How can you have Kasuga have a time in the sun when he has stage four cancer? We don't know if it's going to get removed or not. They just might say, you know what? It's Kasuga's turn. Um, you, had six to, you had six and a half games with Kiryu. No, eight games with Kiryu at this point. More like eight or nine with with him. If you count like some of the other spinoffs. And yeah, you know, enjoy Kazuga. And, and if you want the um if you want the old school fighting style, play Judgment. Indeed. That's how they're gonna do it. And Kiryu is not gonna be around much longer. That's what they're painting it as. Deserves it. He's a great character. Very different, right? So I definitely want to see more Kiryu, but I don't want him to see be the, the head of this franchise anymore. You know what I mean? He was supposed to pass the torch. That was the point. So I hope he really does pass the torch. This is the game the that torch? passes okay. the torch. Uh, I have one final shout out. It's a $20 tip I received here. Oh, God. From an anonymous tipper it says, cheers for the finale. Thank you so much. That anonymous tipper. I really, really appreciate that. What a bitch. Jade, you're back. You came, you came back at the last minute, Jade. How was the movie? Jade went, and uh, even though he's a huge fan of this game, he missed the ending because he went to see uh, the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie, the sequel to the last one. I actually liked the last one. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, for Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, the end of my playthrough. Premium Adventure Unlocked. You have a completed save file. It says now you can explore the locales while retaining all of your abilities and items. We wish you good luck in completing any unfinished challenges. It says you got a special outfit, the Love Sayako t shirt, special outfit, Resurrected Dragon, and Sujimon Kazuma Kiryu Resurrected Dragon. So he's a Sujimon now. There you go. All right. Well, cheers, now, everyone. If if Dr. you White load up super the chat, game, miss it. Cheers there's to everyone another cutscene for the of finale of Light like Dragon Infinite around Wealth. And I hope you like enjoyed that. the playthrough. I think you will. I did. It's just not, in my opinion, there's some shortcomings that we'll make see. it not as I good doubt as the it. last one. Nope. nope. What? It improved in many like, different ways. Get me out of this and I hope shit. that in the next one, it's not a bait and switch. That's all I ask. And then it probably will be a better game. DC has a closing haiku for us. All right. Yeah, fuck, we're done. Fuck you and your haiku. We are done. Good night, everyone. No, good night. Hope you. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Fuck off, DSP. It's just you're too slow with games, and your channel's dead, and you're dead. You're dead inside. You're dead for everyone else. G Million, always a pleasure. D Dog. Yeah. Fuck DSP. Thank you We're for having out. me, sir. Absolutely. And thank and, you, G Million. And you know what? You know what? And Alfred. Yeah. You know what? Nine under almost a little bit over 90 minutes. So about a movie. So we can keep it under under wraps.